Anxiety. This word has a huge meaning for all of us who have been on the path of recovery from narcissistic abuse. It often shows up in our life with another companion called depression. The two are quite interchangeable. So what can you do if you are stuck in the cycle of fear, which is what anxiety can help perpetuate? Well, there are many things. This is a huge question and it comes with many layers. One of those layers is going to be addressed in the film that follows. In it, my dear friend Peggy Schwimmer of Gut Feelings is going to explain to you what can you do to help your anxiety? What can you do to alleviate those symptoms and move beyond them? So I want to encourage you to prepare a pen, of, a pen and paper, have it handy, and write down your notes because what you're going to learn in this video is invaluable. She's helped me tremendously in my own process and I hope she helps you too. Enjoy. Hey beautiful gut feelers. Today we talk about the best diet for anxiety. After watching this video, you know what to eat for your anxiety, what to drink for your anxiety, and what you definitely need to avoid if you want to heal anxiety, depression, panic attacks, all of this big symptom complex. Honestly, I was super touched hearing from you. The first video I did on anxiety was magnesium for anxiety, what's the best supplement? And I've asked you if you want to learn more. And just in three days, 55 comments said, yes, I want to know more about anxiety. Most important thing apart from diet is self-love. You're not crazy. I don't know what you have been told from your doctor, but you are not lost. You can heal anxiety. And yes, it might be trauma related, your anxiety. It might be on an emotional level that when the anxiety first started, but often there's a physical component which keeps perpetuating this feeling of anxiety. And this is kind of a vicious circle that is created. I started talking about that a little bit in the magnesium video, but as an introduction, it's not your fault. If you suffer from anxiety, you're not crazy. And I know you don't give up because you're watching this and you want to get better. So I applaud you for that. Let's jump into the content of this video so you can actually start feeling better now. The main issue with anxiety on a physical level has to do with your nervous system. Anxiety is a warning signal for you that your nervous system is in trouble and it needs help. So with the diet recommendations and with the no-no foods, we're going to help your nervous system to calm down. Apart from your nervous system, we have two more organs that we need to support. This is nourishing your liver, detoxing, and your adrenal glands. Because your adrenal glands are the glands that secrete two kinds of hormones, which is adrenaline and cortisol. And both of them are fight and flight hormones, which create an emergency situation in the body. So you have the strength to run away from if there's a fire breaking out and you need to jump out of the window without thinking, just saving yourself or in ancient times, run away from the predator, run away from the tiger. This is why these hormones are so strong and they numb pain and they numb hunger in our body. So we are actually able to survive survival hormones that's what they are so free organ system we are focusing on in overcoming your anxiety nervous system this is the main one and your liver and your adrenal glands now guys the interesting question is why is your nervous system in trouble what happened well there are three things too much toxins in your body we're talking about toxic heavy metals pesticide residues, all kinds of medication residues, everything you collected over those years and decades of living life on planet Earth. Then we have pathogens in your body, guys. This is a big one because some of the pathogens, they are releasing something called neurotoxins. This is why this can create a vicious cycle. They feed off toxic heavy metals, they feed off excess hormones like adrenaline, and they feed off certain foods, which we're gonna cover just in a second. So pathogens, guys, this is a big one, the neurotoxins. If you want to learn more about neurotoxins, check out Medical Medium Thyroid Healing, which is a book from Anthony Williams. He brought that concept into life. It's not only about the thyroid, although the thyroid plays a huge role in anxiety as well. It's also freely available on Audible if you don't have the money to buy it. Here we have the three things, why your nervous system is in trouble, toxins, toxic heavy metals, then we have pathogens, viruses, creating neurotoxins, inflaming your nerves more. And the third one, guys, is nutrient deficiency. The body actually doesn't have the nutritional base to be able to support your nervous system, your gut, 
and your overall strength and fight against those pathogens and get the toxic heavy metals out. And that's why guys, food is such a great base to start improving your anxiety. This video has three parts in essential. First, we talk about foods, what to avoid, what to eat, then drinks, what you should drink, what you should avoid. And then the third thing, this is a bonus content, I'm gonna give you a tip, one of my best tips I also give to my clients that helps you overcome anxiety on a daily basis and is not diet related. So guys, make sure you stick to the end with me. If you're not part of the Gut Feeder family yet, now is the time to hit the subscribe button, also turn on the notification bell so you know when the next video is released and you can participate in the Gut Feeder community in all the secret content that I'm releasing just for you gut feelers out there. Let's start with the food you definitely need to avoid. And why you need to avoid them is not because they're intrinsically bad, because then I get questions like, but if I eat that organic, if I get that, if I do that homemade, if I raise my own chickens, is it different then? The problem is not the food in and by itself. The problem is this food feeds pathogens. We talked about those pathogens a little bit in the beginning when we talked about neurotoxins. So the problem is if you eat those foods that I'm mentioning right now, then you feed pathogens. The more you feed the pathogens, the more they excrete. Uh, just an organism as well, they excrete these neurotoxins, which inflame your nervous system more, and then you feel increased anxiety. So the most important thing with diet, guys, is we don't want to feed the pathogens. Different pathogens eat different foods, but there are five foods that they all have in common. Highly recommend you to avoid. First one, guys, the biggest one, eggs. Eggs, no matter if organic or you got your own hen, remember it's not about the product itself. Of course, if it's not organic, it's worse, but it's not about the product itself. It's about that these products unfortunately feed pathogens that we have in our body for decades, for years. Eggs, dairy products, all kinds of dairy products, no matter if fermented or organic or raw or goat's milk, dairy, anything. Milk, cow, cheap, whatever you can get. Try to avoid that if you want to overcome your anxiety as fast as possible. Then we have gluten, all kinds of grains that contain gluten. Fourth one, soy, processed soy, fermented soy, even the highest quality soy. Pathogens can feed of any of these products. And the fifth one, guys, this is difficult because it's often gluten-free bread and all kinds of processed foods as well, is corn. Corn starch, corn syrup, corn as a vegetable, which is actually a grain. Try to avoid these. Repeating, eggs, dairy, gluten, soy, and corn. Yeah, guys, and don't believe me, just try it out for yourself. If you put these tips into action, you're gonna feel improvements, and I wanna know about them in the comments below. Also, if you struggle, of course, participate in the community. That they're amazing gut feeder in this community. It's not just gonna be have to be me who answers your questions. This is about creating a supportive network to help each other with our expert knowledge that we have from our own body. So guys, avoiding these five trigger foods is essential to help your anxiety to get better. Now, okay, she took everything from me, everything I eat for breakfast, what am I eating now? There are four foods I want you to eat every day and i mean that every day i want you to eat those four foods until you feel better and even afterwards number one leafy greens the darker the better why leafy greens apart from that they contain an active form of magnesium that your body can actually absorb and work with i talk about magnesium more in the other video magnesium for anxiety but this is a food that is high in magnesium, but it also contains all kinds of phytochemicals, phytonutrients and other minerals, which help your body, help your nervous system to relax, to calm down and build up a nutritional base to be better equipped against those panic attacks or this feeling of insecurity. So every day, big salad, not just three leaves, a big salad of leafy greens, or you do a green smoothie in the morning, that's fine with me as well. Number two, highly underestimated, potatoes. If you are on a low carb, high fat food diet, you want to change that. You want to eat low fat, low protein, you want to go high carb. I'm not talking about refined sugars, I'm talking about complex carbohydrates and fruits that help your nervous system. Your nervous system needs this healthy glucose to calm down your nerves. But with the potatoes, what we have here, this is a mineral bomb. You want to get them organic and important, you want to cook them with the peel. Now, don't peel your potatoes before you boil them because you lose a lot of the minerals and the nutritional value. 
And then if they are organic and they are young potatoes, you can even eat them with the peel. Guys, try it out. Just cut them up, put them in a salad or eat them with some vegetables. They can be eaten with peel if they are young potatoes. And in the peel, there are more minerals. Okay, guys? Potatoes second one every day. It's also very grounding food, which gives as a food quality this feeling of everything is well. No? Great for anxiety. So leafy greens, potatoes. Third one, guys, bananas. Ripe bananas. Ripe bananas. These are almost ripe. Not yet. They want to have brown spots. This is important, guys. If not, you get bloating and actually there's less healthy glucose in there and your body struggles more to absorb them. If they are ripe bananas, there is nothing more soothing to your nerves and to your gut. It's not only your nervous system which has a problem, it's also your gut. Nothing more soothing than ripe bananas. You have the potassium in there. You have those electrolytes which are important to cool down the nervous system, to calm everything down and they are super easy to be digested they're one of the first foods that you can give to babies after the breast milk important again and again i can't say it often enough i still have clients who eat like not ripe bananas so i say it again ripe they need to be ripe 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 brown spots if not they are not ripe and i need to smell like banana from far away and the peel goes off like super gently there is no <laughs> something like that every day guys bananas every day and the fourth one the fourth one is half to one avocado per day they are monounsaturated fats and those fatty acids actually help to protect your brain highly recommended if you suffer from anxiety try to get half an avocado one ripe avocado in per day even on a high carb low fat diet half an avocado is completely fine per day repeating the four foods for you we want to have every day dark leafy greens chard lettuce rocket whatever you can get then potatoes ripe bananas and a piece of avocado now let's come to the second part drinks what not to drink there are two major things you do not want to drink if you have anxiety maybe you figured the first one out yourself already coffee because coffee triggers your adrenal glands to release adrenaline. And the more excess adrenaline you have in your body, the more the pathogens feed off this excess adrenaline, the more anxiety you have. You might have also noticed that, that you feel more nervous after drinking coffee. Leave the coffee out. I've got simple videos about what you can do if you want to get the coffee out. Check this out here. And the second one is alcohol. There is no way you have anxiety and you keep on drinking alcohol, guys. And I mean every drop. If you want to get off this, there every wine counts. Every drop of alcohol counts. Your liver hates alcohol. Your liver is one of the main organs that will help you to get over the anxiety because it's the main detoxing organ. And it also helps you with those glycogen storages to cool down the brain when you, have, when you are in need for healthy glucose and you are in need for calming the nervous system down and having this healthy glucose to cool the inflamed nerves down. So alcohol is a no-go in any way. Now, alternatives, what to drink. This might not taste like coffee, but it's amazing. And I want you to drink that in the morning, either or. Either you have a warm lemon water, one squeezed lemon and high quality water, not an empty stomach or cucumber juice. Cucumber juice gives your body a deep hydration. It's super cooling for the nerves and for the liver and it will help you if you put them in on a daily basis you leave out the coffee you leave out the alcohol more lemon water more cucumber juice and more breathing space to feel more secure because that's what i want for you i want you to feel more in charge of your life and those two amazing fruits they can support you with that apart from that all kinds of fruits that you can get are beneficial vegetables the best is always organic but if you can't get them organic they are still better than eating meat or eggs or anything like that. Now, before we come to the bonus content in just a few moments, if this is all too much for you, think like, oh my God, I ate bre eggs for breakfast and then I have bread and now she to tells me for anxiety, I can't have this and this and this. I get completely overwhelmed. I have a life, I need something to eat. I'm happy to help. I created a gut healing challenge, which gives you for one week an all-inclusive meal plan with recipes, shopping lists, and this is perfect for anxiety because it meets all those standards. It avoids the five trigger foods we talked about and it brings in those healing foods that we discussed, potatoes, leafy greens, 
avocado, banana, it's all in there. If that interests you, I'll link that down below. You can get a preview. The gut healing challenge is the name for one week. And after this week, you can take those recipes and put them into your daily life. Simple foods, plant-based, they're delicious and they don't take forever in the kitchen. Now guys, bonus content. I promised you something apart from diet that you can do to lower the anxiety once it is there. What is it? It might sound simple and it really is. It's exercise, it's movement. It's if you can do running or you just have a brisk walk in nature. Anything that has to do with physical activity. Why? Because if your body is in a fight and flight mode, what the body usually does is it runs. It runs away from the danger. And by doing this, the cortisol that is released in your body, the excess adrenaline gets used up. Of course, meditation can help as well. But in this moment of anxiety and when you feel the hormones rushing through your system, if you can do some movement, if you feel too panicky to get out, try to do something at home, do some push-ups, whatever you can do. While you're doing this, apart from that you burn the stress hormones and you ground yourself more, after 20 to 30 minutes, something interesting happens. A hormone group called endorphins is released in your body. Endorphins work like our own natural morphine. They give you this high, they give you this positive feeling in your body, a feeling of security, feeling that everything is well. And they're also natural painkillers. This is why when you see these runners at the Olympics and they hit the final line and then they just like you see this big smile often they break down but they also have this big smile and this is because all those hormones are flushed out in the body it's endorphins guys and you want to get those endorphins per day 20 to 30 minutes of exercises burns excess fight and flight hormones cortisol adrenaline and gets you into the endorphin mode now i want to know from you what helped you with overcoming your anxiety even if it's just a little tip maybe you got the magnesium that i recommend or you tried something else of that works for you let us know in the comments below share your knowledge question of the day what helped you with anxiety thank you for watching i wish you a beautiful day and remember you are not crazy you can do this